Hey everybody, it's Zack from the Wabajerks. Playing some more Dark Souls. We're in the painted world of hairy armpits. Um, probably gonna go fight the boss for this area now just because I don't think there's a whole lot left to do. I'm kind of debating whether to fight the NPC invader for this area. I think I will. Um, I got 20 humanity. That's That's quite a bit. I need 30 in total. <clears throat> the reason I need 30 is so I can do something good at the end of the game. But I'm not too worried about it right now. Oh, I thought there was like a crow demon, but it was just the shadow of a crow standing on a man's head. Come get it. Or stay back like a bitch. I don't know if I should kindle that bonfire or not. I'm gonna go fight the boss, but it's not an especially difficult... I don't... I'm sure I don't want whatever that is, so I'm not gonna take it. <clears throat> Getting to the boss might be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but we'll see. Oh shit, didn't even see that other guy at first. That could have been bad. Ah, uh, it took a little bit of damage there. Not, yeah, I'm not, not too concerned about the boss, though. Let's see, where's this invader? There we go. Dark, dark, uh, I was gonna say dark skin. Uh, dark king. Xanthus Jeremiah. You gotta be careful with this guy a little bit. Um, yeah, he's got some decent fire spells. Yeah, that actually did a lot of damage. He died like a bitch, though, so... I can't be too upset. I got 30,000 experience for that. That's crazy. What did I pick up? Notched Whip. Do I want to spend all this right away? I don't know. <clears throat> I'm thinking about it. Um, I do actually need to hold on to souls, though. Because I want to get the Great Shield of Artorias. I, like, really want the Great Shield of Artorias. Which means I need to have a plus 10 shield. I'm just going to ignore those guys, the Legion. Um, really good to, like, farm for souls if you have the time. <clears throat> I may, like, come back here in between videos and do that. We'll see. Okay, so there... You gotta be careful, because there's a guy right in here, too. And I... Guess the hardest... I don't know, you're, you're gonna get ambushed coming up here. I'm not too worried about taking one hit, though. And then, the only thing left is this asshole. It wasn't too difficult. <clears throat> I'm not sweating him. Oh, come on, dick. Enemies aren't supposed to heal. Ah, you're dead. Fuck off. I think he drops, yeah, large titanite, which is good because that is what I need to do the thing. Alright, boss time. <coughs> Still a little bit sniffly. So this is Crossbreed Priscilla. 
She is the daughter of Gwendolyn, the big booby lady. Or is that Guinevere? I think it's Guinevere. And uh, Seat the Scaleless. I don't know why Guinevere wanted to mate with Seat the Scaleless. But whatever, I guess. I mean, that's... That's between them. Now, I'm not going to do it because I really like... It, it's kind of a pain in the ass to do, but you can cut off her tail and get a unique weapon. Um, I don't think I'm going to do it, though. So she basically told us to leave. You don't have to fight her. If you go over there, you can plunge down into the real world. But I'm going to fight her. Alright, so this... Watch the snow on this fight. She turns invisible. Oh shit, I didn't... Oh right, she has a sight. Just FYI. Not a particularly difficult boss though. For some reason I was looking at my stamina thinking it was her health, but that was really stupid. Oh. Yep, there you go. Really easy boss fight. I don't. It, it's not the easiest in the game, but I mean like, I'm kind of splitting hairs there. I mean, I guess not splitting, eh, splitting hairs probably isn't the right term. I don't know. I don't know my idioms. But anyway, sometimes there's a guy right here with, uh, with some souls. Or maybe it's not souls, maybe, I think it's like... Xanthus King Jeremiah's armor set, but I don't really know what prompts it to appear. <clears throat> I think, um, if you do choose to kill Priscilla, it's considered a sin in the game, so other people can indict you, I guess. I'm just gonna run past all this. I don't feel like fighting all, all these guys right now. Just not in the mood. They'll chase us, they'll swing their swords around, but I don't really care. So, upwards and onwards. We're gonna go see the blacksmith giant. He's a cool dude. So you guys know how to get there. I'm gonna kind of just skip ahead to that part. Alright, so I'm back. You guys actually missed about like 20 minutes worth of crap there just because I had to like go back and forth and ascend my shield and everything. So, we're gonna turn the knight shield plus 10 into the Great Shield of Artorias. I could also turn my um, halberd into the Life Hunt Scythe. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I mean, like, it's a neat idea, I suppose, but I don't honestly care that badly. So let's see what the, I'm sure the Great Shield of Artorias is gonna weigh like a fuck ton, but 16 as opposed to Five. <laughs> so that's a big difference. What? What's the uh what's the stat requirement for it? Thirty-four. Okay, well I'm not that far away from that, so we'll come back to that. Uh I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do next, so while I do that, I'm gonna think of what I'm gonna do next. Alright, so you notice that I'm back at the Undead Parish now, um, because what I want to do, I think I'm going to fight, I don't know, I'm either going to fight Seath or the Four Kings first, and I'm not sure which. Um, time will tell, but the reason I'm going this way is because I want to set up, wow, fuck you, man. Um, I want to set up getting the DLC, or doing the DLC. Um, so, yeah, alright. What do you got? Yeah, that's good. 
Those are the rarest ones to get. They're the best, though. Because they'll, uh... They'll heal toxic damage. Come on. We're killing these guys in one hit, which is pretty good. Um, I leveled up my strength... That was the wrong way. To 31. So I need to level up three more times in order to be able to use the Great Shield of Artorias. And that will also put me over what I need to use the Black Knight Halberd if I ever get it. Now... There's a 100% chance that I will get it, because you can just farm it in the last area of the game. I don't necessarily want to do that, and it's not... I don't know, it's not like super duper valuable to me at the end of the game, but we'll we'll see. And I may just end up going with like a plus 15 halberd anyway, so... I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, do I come down here? Uh, not quite. Whatever. Roll off. We killed the Black Knight that was down here already, so he is not a concern. We killed Havel. Havel's actually just right up there. Um, I don't know if I showed that in the game earlier or not. That was probably... that probably would have been like video 3 or 4. I'm sure that's not worth a whole lot. Um, so this is the area that you come to to kind of like set up the DLC. Now you'll notice this big mf -er just shooting shit at me. He can damage the, the other enemies though, which is nice. Um, and luckily, frankly, I think he's a whole lot easier once you get up close. This, this water bullet crap just doesn't do it for me. I was hoping he would get his own guy there. Well, it's not really his guy, but you're you're picking up what I'm putting down. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I didn't want to happen. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna. All right. Okay. Apparently, I still got hit. If you get close enough, though, that attack becomes pretty ineffective. So we're gonna fight this big-ass Hydra. I guess I need to be closer. And I took off a, a head with one hit, which I'm actually fairly pleased with. there, so you kind of got to watch it. This is going way better than I expected. <laughs> the only problem with this is that, like, sometimes the heads are really hard to get to. They're not really hard, I guess, but it's like, like that guy. He always lands, like, in, like, a weird position. That's another one. I think got, there's two left. It's one, one of them always, like, goes, yeah, to the left like that, and he's really hard to hit because he, like, I don't know what it is that he does, but it's really annoying. Okay, maybe if I stand over here a little bit. Alright, that didn't work. Nope, okay. So there's two Hydras like this in the game. This is... the more annoying of the two, in my opinion. That was really bad. I almost fell off there. I think I got... Yeah, I got him that time. Do I have one more? Yeah, it's this, this asshole. No! Die! 
Oh no, wait, I got it. Yeah, alright, that was the last one. Cool. I got the night stuff and the dust crown ring. I actually have no idea for the life of me what that does. Um, but anyway, this part's annoying because you just have to, it's just so much water. Basically, all you do though is come back here. There's a ladder right there. I'm not totally familiar with the area that that leads up to, but I've been up there once, and it's these weird cat enemies. And I thought they were pretty hard, even like on my new game plus, so I'm not going to be going up there uh, with this guy, the shizzle. Always run along the edges for stuff like this if you can. It even works in lava! Oh, you fucker. Oh, okay. Actually, this is a common glitch, so what I'm gonna do is this. Oops. Yeah, this is... yeah. That's a pretty common glitch, from what I'm told. Um, just gotta come back, and, or uh, quit the game, restart. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. That's alright. Yep. Dead. And now you can talk to Princess Dusk. So, it is thou who rescued me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am Dusk. A ruler's hill. I come from an age long before thine, so my home, ruler's hill. It's the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass on my profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. It would be. Then I shout, thou art in need. So basically, if you're human, you can see her summon sign over here and uh, use her for stuff. Um. I'm not, like, a big user of, like, miracles and sorceries and things like that, so I probably won't be making a whole lot of use of that, but once I kind of get through the Seat the Scaleless area, I can, uh, you know, go do the DLC. Which is interesting. It's, um, it's definitely cool. Yeah, so I'm not going to go up there. I don't know enough about it. So, what I'm gonna do next, I think I'm gonna go do, I'm gonna go do New Londo next. So, let me get back to a bonfire. Okay, we're back. Um, let me repair all my stuff real quick. Why is the night stuff already damaged? Um, so, this is one of the parts of the game that I, like, really, really kind of hate the most. Which is weird, because everyone else thinks it's really easy. Yeah, she's not gone, because I never let, uh, dick-ass killer Latrec. That guy's a douche. Um, so, what's gonna happen here is... We're gonna go down to the new Londo ruins. I'm gonna hate it because I just really, really hate this part of the game for like various reasons. One of the items I need to let's let's equip that now. Let's get rid of that. Uh, I should have one left. Okay, maybe I don't. I'm kind of screwed. If that's the case, I thought I had one. Um, I'm not really at the point where I can speedrun this section just yet. Maybe I didn't get it?
okay, no, I totally did. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this is a little scary. Alright. I'm glad I don't have any souls, I guess I'm- or humanity for that matter either. I guess I'm just speedrunning this, cause... I have absolutely no way to fight the enemies in this part now. So I don't really have much of a choice. I don't have enough souls to buy Trantian Curses either. All the enemies in this area are ghosts, and if you don't have what you need to fight them, you're sort of fucked. I do not like this. This is actually like the wrong way to go. Ah, uh, no, fuck off. Oh, I'm gonna get wrecked. No! Okay, well. Hold on, I gotta farm for transient curses, otherwise I'm never gonna make it through this part. Alright, so we're back to New Londo. This shitty hole in the wall. Um, or hole in the ground, I guess, is more accurate. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna... I, I just, I got four transient curses. Wow, that... works surprisingly well. I'm actually really pleased with the amount of damage that I just did there. Uh, so... Let's... Once you drain the water, you can go through this area a lot quicker and get to the boss. Which is... Like, no doubt what I'll have to do. So, this uh, this We're gonna get stuck on this part again. I apparently went the wrong way the first time going to take a little bit of damage. That's okay, though. I think they do a lot more damage if you, uh, if you don't have the transient curse. One, uh, there was one right in there. There's going to be, like, yeah, see... Five of them all of a sudden. That's okay though. This isn't completely undoable. Contraption does not move. Okay, well. I'll be honest, I don't quite remember. Oh no, I still go down. You go down and then up, I think. Pretty sure that's how this works. There's all my souls from last time. I'm gonna just run through this real quick and then see how many of I can get to uh, get to follow me. If there are any. Come on. I don't understand why this isn't working. Alright, I know my transient curse is still active, so this is bullshit. There we go. And then... These are banshees. Two more transient curses, that's good. Uh, I will use an Estus here. I wanted to, I want to save all of it for the boss if possible, but... It's, uh... Probably not going to be a thing. Two more transient curses. That's just great. So what you do is you go up here. And you kick this ladder down. And now you have a little bit of a shortcut. It's not an amazing shortcut. It, but it's, it's nice to have. It's the fault that counts. Uh, and you want to run through this area 
a little bit quickly just because the ghosts below and above you will try to kill you. And... Normally they would flow towards you, but I, I guess that's not on their game, not on their agenda this time. So, this part is even worse than that last area with all the ghosts. This this is abysmal. You can kind of backtrack and get some of them to attack you out here, but it's, it's still a pain in the ass, I gotta tell you. Though that actually worked a whole lot better than I thought it would. Oh man. I fucked up there. I really shouldn't have used my, um, my pyromancy. Is what it is, though. This is a part where you can easily die, and I, like, have to use my pyromancy here. I would have liked to, yeah, I think I'm going to save one for the boss, because he's weak to fire, but if I can't, if I can't save any, I can't save any. The first time I did it with, I, the first time I beat him completely without Pyromancy, so we'll, we'll see. More transient curses. This would be a really good part of the game to have, uh, what's it called? The, the fast climb ability from Dark Souls 2. That would be great. Stuff over there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but this—I uh, forget this guy's this name. Uh, yeah, he gives you the key to the seal. I have the Covenant of Artorias, so I should be able to. Let's. Uh, I don't want you to break my curse. Man, he sells transient curse for like way more, or way less. Um, my transient curse is also not active anymore, so... so let's reactivate it. I, I firmly believe in just falling down there because the ghosts will attack you and you're just going to take damage anyway. I meant to use Estus there. I screwed it up, though. Now, you can... I think if you go down there, it's just like... I think you can get the Curse Bite Ring, which is actually really useful against Seath. So... Maybe I'll do that. You can clearly see... The ghost through the wall right there. He's not fooling anybody. Oh, well, maybe this isn't him. He's gonna roll down here. Uh okay, maybe it's if you keep yeah, it's if you keep going around this way. I hope I'm right on that one. Cause I don't want to waste a lot of health or resources for nothing. Curse bite ring, excellent. Could be very useful against C. Though I've never really felt like I was in danger of getting cursed by C, so maybe you really don't need it. It's hard to say. Green Titanite. Green Titanite upgrades. Actually, I don't know. I don't remember off the top of my head. I, I'm sure it does like... Oh jeez, what are the... It probably does like... Yeah, it does like... It upgrades your fire and chaos stuff, I think. Um, there's just like a... There's something up there, it's not very valuable. And... Let's... Use the key that that guy gave us. Um, don't think you can come and talk to that guy early in the game by, uh, 
by just going to New Londo, like right off the bat, you you can't get the key from him. You need to have the Lord Vessel. So don't think about like I just I skipped that there because all it does is empty out all the water that's down here. And now we're gonna hopefully go beat the four kings. I'm, and I mean, I don't mind making it an extra long video if I have to, so it's not a huge deal. Basically, you come down here, there's a shitload of corpses, and then the Valley of the Drakes is over that way. Um, but I don't want to fight them. These are dark raids. These, uh... These guys aren't too difficult. They're not really difficult at all, honestly. If you want to get the red tear stone ring, there's a ladder out here and to the left where you can get it. And what that does is it increases your attack by a lot when your health gets low. Um, a lot of people use it for speedrunning the game. It's not necessarily good if you're trying to... Uh, I guess it's good if you somehow manage to get it early on, but if you manage to get it early on, it's like, you're clearly skilled enough to, you know, not need it, I think? I don't know, it's hard to say. Hey, to each his own. It's not an item I've ever really gone for. I'll fight another Dark Wraith here. The Dark Wraiths are basically... Uh the servants of the four kings who had the life drain ability. Still got eight Estus, so maybe I'll wait a little bit. I mean, I'll use the humanity if I have to. So, right off the bat here, there's gonna be like, there's like two or three, there's like four dark wraiths in here, actually. I strongly recommend just kiting them, like, don't, don't try and take on more than one. And we're gonna find a mass of souls at some point, too. So that's, uh, that's the ability of the Dark Hand, which is... You can get it, and it allows you to... Oh god, that's the Mass of Souls, fuck. I didn't know that thing was, like, right in here. I really don't want to fight that. Or rather, I really have to fight this guy first. So the Dark Hand allows you to steal humanity. I'm actually gonna... apparently not use a humanity right now, because I don't have it equipped. Because I'm a goof. So those guys aren't too hard to kill. They do spawn the skull things, though. Which are super annoying. And let's see, let's see. There is an ember in this area. Which is one of the main reasons I wanted to do this first. You bastard. You bastard. A bastard in a basket. Sorry, that's like the best Daniel Day-Lewis impression I could do on short notice. Alright, so I think the Ember's up here. Yeah. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Whee. If I have to go a little bit long in this video, I will, just to beat the Four Kings.
I'm always a little bit long though, baby. Oh. Oh! And I have to poop. Which I'm sure you guys didn't care about, but... Pooping's important. Very large ember. That will allow us to get our halberd to plus 15. Uh, provided I have titanite chunks. And actually, I am interested in seeing how... I have five. Okay. Uh, you need nine. Uh, yeah, I think it's nine to get a fully upgraded plus 15 weapon. Now, I may also want to use those titanite chunks to upgrade my... Uh, my elite knight armor as well, but... I'm just gonna roll down here. Yeah, no damage. So, we go through this area. Come down here. There's this butthole over here. And I'm not interested in your stupid shield wall thing. Killing these guys in two hits isn't so bad. I can, uh, I can work with that. Uh, those guys can also drop Titanite Slabs, which are some of the best upgrading items in the game. Uh, that was very obviously a, a wall. Oh no, son of a bitch! Alright, I'm gonna have to speed run it back to that part. Well hey guys, you might have noticed that my character is completely naked, and that's because I want to run real fast, and I don't want to, like, deal with a lot of the bullshit right now, so we're just gonna run to the boss. Take a little bit of damage, not that big a deal. I don't understand. Ah, oh, you bastard! So you should be able to just run right past all this shit because there's really no point in fighting it. No, no, apparently I'm just gonna get wrecked. So let's try that again. Okay, let's, uh. Son of a bitch! Ugh! Okay, so rolling seems to be a bit more reliable than running and jumping. I will have to keep that in mind in case I fuck up again. Now, you want to roll out of the way real quick so that guy can't get you through the wall. And you just run down here. They can't follow you. Um, as far as I know, the ghosts might actually be able to follow you, which is really shitty. But it's not the biggest deal, I guess, and what I'm gonna do is just run down here, like, as far as possible in case there is a ghost following me, and I'm gonna put on some stuff. Namely, Havel's stuff. Why am I putting on Havel's stuff? <coughs> well, um, I could actually probably get rid of my shield, so. Uh, I'm gonna heal once. So... Dark, uh, what am I saying? Four Kings, Dark Souls, um, is a boss that you really kind of just want to tank through. Like, it, uh, it, it's just a real pain in the ass. Now, don't worry about moving too slow. They'll, they'll come to you. Fuck. Luckily, that doesn't do, like, an insane amount of damage. Now, this boss sucks because the longer you wait to kill one, uh, another one will spawn. As you can now see in the background. Oh, but I actually got him, so... really just want to, like, get it over with as soon as possible. 
Another uh, another point of interest here. Keep kill keep hitting them after uh, it says they're dead because they um they still take damage, which means you can conceivably do like little to no damage to the last one and still beat it. I don't know if the next one has spawned yet. Yeah, see, I can do like you can do like minor amounts of damage. doing so good now. I do not like this boss fight. So that attack actually does a decent amount of damage, but... Humanity equipped. That's really bad. Oh, last one. God, that's right, they can respawn over and over infinitely. Thanks for f fucking me, game. Alright, well, let's try that again. Let's try this again. Alright. I'll. It's only 20,000 souls, I guess I'll worry about it some other time. Ugh. I'm also using the Crystal Halberd, so that is a little bit of a difference here. See, all their magic attacks, like, really suck. Oh my god, he just... he moves around so much. Keep running out of uh, stamina, like right at the last second there. Yeah, that's a that's an attack you have to be really far away from to. Don't run away, you asshole. Yeah, actually, I did kind of think that would kill me, and I'm a little bit pissed off about it. Um, let's try one more time. So on the plus side, I actually kind of thought of a decent way to do this, and uh, I can use a green blossom. So that's going to make my stamina regen way, way better. See, this attack fucking sucks. Like, I don't know how you dodge this shit. Oh my god. Getting wrecked right off the bat. I also gave, uh... They're gonna use a humanity for this. I also gave Andre of Astora the, uh... The plus 15 ember. The very large ember, so... Man. I am just not good at this fight. I'm gonna try it one more time, and then I'm done. Alright, last try. Let's see if I can do it. I actually really would like, um... My soul's back. Just because, uh... I'm gonna hit him... Don't, don't do this shit right off the bat.
I'm, I'm like not doing any damage here at all. This is bad. I think the second one's like out already. Oh, there it is. Okay, see, see right there, I actually did a little bit of damage after he was dead. Sorry if I'm not talking much, I just, I really don't want to have to do this again. That's okay, that I can deal with. It does a good bit of damage, but it's not, it's not a death sentence. fifth one to spawn, but I'm, like, at the end of this, so... One more! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, thank you. Fuck's sake. Alright, so that's, that's the Four Kings boss fight. Everyone else thinks that boss fight is really easy, and I absolutely hate that boss fight. It, it just fucking sucks. So... Yeah. Suck... Well, for humanity. Shit. That's Dark Serpent, um... Wraith, I guess, is his name. Uh, I'm gonna light this bonfire. I don't really want to talk to him. I don't care. I, I like. I don't care about his covenant. I don't care about King Seeker Framped. There's just not a whole lot to be gained from either of them, in my opinion. So let's do this. So that way, I'm at least one away from using um, Great Shield of Artorius. And for humanity means that I might actually be able to enough to ascend the next perk in the Chaos Servant Covenant, and that'll be really good. So, but I'm going to end the video there for now because I'm, like, fucking sick of the Four Kings, and uh, we'll deal with it next week, whatever I decide to do. I'm not actually sure yet. All right, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to follow the Wabajerks on Twitter, like us on Facebook. Um, like, comment, subscribe. We love to talk to you guys, share our video around, help us get our name out there, and I'll catch you next week.